afternoon and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. I'm Mark and I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2010 Honda CRV limited edition this afternoon. We'll start off at the front of the car as you can see, finished in bronze, uh, presents quite well. A couple of minor little touch-ups to a few little stone chips. Uh, extremely minor actually, very good for its age. A couple of additional touch-ups just here on the right hand side of our bonnet as well. Um, as we come to the driver's side now, as you can see, factory alloy wheels, brand new Yokohamas on this car. Um, not a scratch on the alloy as well. Um, and as we move down the side of the car, colour-coded exterior mirrors with the indicators in the mirrors. A couple of minor little scratches on our driver's door there. Um, once again, consistent with its age and a very minor one just on the edge of our right-hand rear door, which will probably clean off actually. Um, once again, not a scratch on the right-hand rear alloy wheel either. And as we move around to the tailgate area, all of the distinctive chrome badging through the tailgate. We do have uh, colour-coded reverse sensors as well. A couple of very minor little cosmetic uh, marks just on the bottom of our tailgate there, um, but overall presents very well. I like the really long tail lights in the back of the CRV as well. Great for safety at night time. As we come down the passenger side of the car now, once again, no scratches on any of our alloy wheels, which is really impressive for a car of this age, uh, for us not to see any scratches there. And the overall presentation of the passenger side of the car, having a really close up look at it, minor little mark there, that'd definitely polish out. Uh, but the overall condition, a few little minor touch-ups just on our left-hand front guard. Um, but the exterior presentation is really, really good around at the front of the CRV. Now, we'll have a little bit of a chat about the performance of the car. 2.4 litre four cylinder motor, certainly going to give us the performance we want, but at the same time deliver us the economy we want. So 125 kilowatts of power, 218 newton metres of torque, still delivering us 10 litres, and even 10 litres combined per 100 k's. 58 litre fuel tank, so expect 580 k's out of a tank of petrol. Back around at the rear of the CRV now, a couple of things to show you that make this car really versatile SUV. As you can see, already a fairly generous storage area in the back as well. But what we've done in the meantime, just to set it up to show you uh, the versatility, we can fold our second row seats all the way up um, to that position to just to enable us to increase the storage area. You know, if we're moving or we've got something larger to put in the back of the car. Underneath our uh, little uh, carpeted area here, we've got a full-size spare wheel, Michelin tyre. Brand new as well, never been on the car. So the way it presents in the back of this car is really impressive. So inside the CRV now, and we'll just run through all of the features that it has and pay attention to the condition, which is really impressive. On our driver's armrest, all of our power window switches. Directly up in front of that, we've got a traction control button on our right hand side. Our controls for our exterior mirrors, they are electric of course. Uh, moving to our steering wheel, which is height and reach adjustable. Set ourselves up where we're nice and comfortable and lock it into position. On the steering wheel itself, cruise control settings on our right hand side and our audio settings on our left hand side. I only done 114,000 kilometres this car. Um, we'll have a good look at the service history shortly. We've got our AM FM CD uh, unit here um, with all of our master controls, all of our heating and cooling controls directly below that as well. A very, very popular six speed manual transmission um, with really, really good thought put into the placement of the actual gear stick. Um, nice and accessible, really light clutch as well. And then we've got our park brake here, which looks like it's something out of an airplane. Um, just release or pull back into position from there. Cup holders to the left of that, a little coin holder there, and then a large storage compartment in there, which does, uh, it's quite deep. So uh, we do have a couple of auxiliary um, and 12 volt outlet inside there as well. Um, can just close it up out of our way. Also with our front seats, we've got uh, armrests that can be brought down into position for that long country trip or when they're not in use, simply flick them up out of our way. Important to pay attention to the interior, how well the cloth uh, interior presents. Seats are in really good order. We've got all of our factory car mats. This car does have six airbags, so front side and curtain airbags gives it a six, uh, duh, 
gives it a four star ANCAP safety rating. Uh, and last but not least, by far, um, is the service history. If I go back through the service history from day one, majority of the servicing has been done at John Blair Honda. So Honda serviced nearly its whole life, this car. Uh, the last couple were done at uh, Warrigal Subaru. Um, so all the way through our servicing has been done spot on and then we've just done a current intermediate service on the car also. So just in summary, a really impressive example of a 2010 model Honda CRV limited edition wagon. Um, as we mentioned, 2.4 litre four cylinder motor giving us 10 litres combined per 100 k's. 125 kilowatts of power, 218 newton metres of torque, four star ANCAP safety rating, beautiful Honda service history. So give us a call on 99070 555 and uh, we'll be able to help you with your purchase of your new car.